lab works on how the brain and the immune system interact. And this is very important when one's considering diseases such as Alzheimer's disease and even neurological disorders like autism spectrum disorders. Labs like myself and others at this time point are really showing that if you don't have the brain and the immune system interacting, you actually will develop certain neurological disorders. And so our studies are focusing at identifying which interactions keep brain function going and which interactions are unwanted or are excessive. My lab works on the sense of smell and how insects can smell odors in its environment. So what we are working on primarily is how tiny odor molecules can activate receptors that detect these molecules in the nose of the insects. Our research mainly focusing on using a combination of chemistry and biology tools to understand uh, how damaged DNA repaired and also to understand how damaged DNA compromised the flow of genetic information. So when the damaged DNA are not repaired, uh, during DNA replication process, when us, our cells are replicating our DNA, they may introduce mistakes during the replication process. If the mistakes occur in critical genes, for example, tumor suppressor genes, then those may give rise to tumor development. Many anti-cancer drugs kill tumor cells by damaging DNA. So therefore, understanding the fundamental aspects of DNA repair really provide a very important basis for designing better drugs for cancer treatment. Millions of Americans have Alzheimer's disease. The greatest risk factor we know for Alzheimer's is aging. What we have been showing has been identifying a tissue repair pathway that's in this brain macrophage, the microglia. If this pathway has a mutation in it, this causes a threefold increased risk in Alzheimer's disease. Interestingly, we're also finding that things like various kinds of inflammatory risks that you have, various kinds of traumatic brain injuries, also cause an increase in the same pathway. And if we can identify in me, in somebody else, do I follow that pathway, we can make therapies that are going to be specific. And so identifying specific pathways is helping us eventually identify specific therapies. The ability to understand how an insect can smell and find its host is extremely important to design ways to block this behavior. These insects can transmit uh, deadly diseases like malaria, dengue fever, filariasis, West Nile virus to hundreds of millions of people every year. So we have designed safe, affordable, odor-based approaches that can be used to block insects from finding human beings or block the plant pests from finding plants and therefore be able to create a protective boundary around them. University of California Riverside is a fantastic place to work in because it has superb modern facilities, excellent students, enthusiastic faculty, which creates high quality science and a wonderful work environment to live and work in. UC Riverside provides top-notch facilities in both chemical analysis and genomic analysis, which are essential for our research. And also, we have access to grad students with strong training in both chemistry and biological sciences. This is another strong plus for being at a UCR. The University of California, Riverside is an ideal place to do research. It is just, without a doubt, a place that is so collegial, so interactive, so fun. The students come here so eager. That small college campus feel in the strength of a large university is something I don't see anywhere else. So that is why I like being here and I think it's a fabulous place to do research.